Hi, I'm Tom. This is Mina, and this is Kitty Help Desk. So today we want to talk a little bit about um, catnip and all the fun that it brings to the world of approximately two-thirds of the cats that try it. So if your cat is part of the one-third that doesn't react to it, then none of this really applies to them, I'm afraid. But for two-thirds of the cats out there, they have some kind of reaction to the catnip plant. Um, those reactions can vary somewhat. Sometimes they are just sort of uh, chill out and roll around on the floor and be quiet. Sometimes they become very excited and like to play more. Cats go into what's called olfactory fatigue and they no longer react to it. I try to give them catnip at least once a week. Um, there really is no limit as to how often you can give it to them. Uh, there's no harm done if you give it to them too frequently. They may become a little bit less excited by it if they get it too frequently. So I think once a week or every two weeks is fine. Um, there are several different forms that it takes. And, uh, you know, it depends on your cat as to which one appeals to them the most. Uh, I especially like these sort of fabric catnip toys. This one's from Cosmic Catnip. Um, Yao Catnip also makes these great toys. There are a lot of cat toys out there on the market that claim that they have catnip in them. And a lot of them are filled with fiberfill with just a few grains of catnip sprinkled in. I've actually cut open toys and found that to be the case. And it's really disappointing, you know, that these toys are already kind of overpriced for what they are. And that to find a manufacturer as dishonest is always a little disappointing. But you can count on Cosmic Catnip and Yao Catnip, which also makes this dry catnip, um, to really always give you a premium product. I have never had an issue with either one of those companies. I especially like that Yao products have been consistent across the board um, in their catnip oil content because that's really what what determines whether a cat's going to react to it or not if they're already genetically uh, reactive um, is is how much oil is in it and so when you dry the catnip and store it you know the oil can eventually leach away into the air whatever and and so it becomes less effective and the Yao catnip I've bought has always been sort of the same level of efficacy every single time I've bought it um, there are also some small vendors. This is from Gary's Pets. This is made in Canada. And um, some of these small vendors are really good. There's a vendor called Meow Yuana. <laughs> they, they package their, their catnip like it's from a marijuana dispensary. Now, it's a little misleading because cats don't necessarily get stoned on this stuff. It's, it's never really been shown that that's the case. Now, we can't see exactly what they're experiencing. But we can judge from their reaction. It's generally they get five to 15 minutes of chill out time or or happiness or pleasure out of it. And, uh, you know, that pleasure can can really go a long way towards sort of fixing the mood of a cat that's experiencing anxiety or or may have a little bit of stress in their lives, especially around other cats. Um, Lucy and Mina sometimes have an adversarial relationship. And when I give them both catnip toys to play with, they will play with them side by side with very few problems. Sometimes they're interested in the other cat's toy and will exchange them, but they, they really don't have any aggression when they're playing with the catnip. That's not to say cats never will, but I think it's a, it's a good tool for sort of helping a mindset. Um, just like giving a cat a treat changes a mindset, giving them catnip, if they're reactive to it, can really help change your mindset too. The other really useful thing is to use something like this. This is a spray of catnip oil and water. Um, and it seems to have a pretty good concentration of catnip oil, just judging from their reaction to it. Um, 
unfortunately it doesn't really say and the catnip oil is the third ingredient there are only three ingredients water emulsifiers and catnip oil but you know they they react to it very strongly just as if it were uh, dried catnip and if I spray it in the air they will wander around <laughs> and really try to take it in um, or sometimes I'll spray it on a carpet it's really not harmful in any way so it's it's a it's a great sort of enrichment tool but it can also help you if you're trying to guide a cat to make <laughs> shall we say better choices so let's say your cat is uh, clawing a piece of furniture that you particularly don't want them to claw you can do a couple of different things um, a lot of trainers use aversives and I really don't advise that anyone use aversives with cats cats don't deal well with punishment all it really does is drive a wedge between you and your cat kind of breaks down the relationship at least for a time and if you can offer instead an alternative more attractive option to them then they're likely to take that so if you bring in a cat tree that's a little bit taller so they can stretch out better maybe a rougher texture that they enjoy clawing better and maybe you spray it down with catnip spray um, maybe that'll make that more attractive than the arm of the chair now they may still go back to the arm of the chair you can help that a little bit by using a um, enzymatic spray cleaner because when they claw something they're not just clawing it to clear their nail sheaths they're also clawing it to mark territory and to make a sound that tells the other cats that this is mine so you'll see cats that are having some disagreements one will go to an area and claw <laughs> really get into it because they're they're basically making a statement this is mine back off you know um so the spray can be really useful in a lot of ways it can also rejuvenate old catnip toys not that you should really keep these around all that long once they become kind of gunky better to throw them out and get a new one but um you know most of these last a good long time and and they really love them and it really can be something that helps enrich their lives and helps them to thrive so thanks for watching uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time